But there has to be a winner. And this year, it is Peter Carey, The True History of the Kelly Gang. Peter Carey has won the Booker Prize for the year 2001 with the true history of the Ned Kelly gang. Peter Carey has wanted to write this novel for more than 30 years. He believes that Ned Kelly is Australia's great hero, and he said so when he spoke to us earlier. I thought I was so calm. But you see, now I have this, and I realize how deeply in debt I am. I'm really in debt to Ian McEwan, who I now have to buy a very expensive dinner for, because we had a wage. <laughs> I'm really in debt because my younger son, Charlie, who came with us from New York, somehow or other, persuaded me that if I should win this prize, he would get $50. <laughs> and also because our other son, Sam, who's decided to stay in New York, will obviously have to have $50 too. I'm also in debt to a lot of people for um, Deborah Rogers, who's been my agent since, well, never mind. And Faber and Faber, who have been my publishers in this country for a very, very long time, I, I think since 79. And Robert McCrum, who's here tonight, who was my reckless editor at that time. And my Australian publishers, who are not here, have also been my publishers for since about 74. And I wish they could be here, but they're not, because they all helped in the process. My Australian publisher, Laurie Muller, came on a camping trip. and. Uh, taught me things about horses I wish I could forget. Um, and I'm also very, I'm indebted to my wife, Alison Summers, my first reader, um, who encouraged me to write this book at a time when I was foolishly trying to write a novel about New York, uh, which I love but know nothing about, really. And, and who was, in, on many occasions, my editor. And particularly, the, the wonderful thing about tonight, when I really, really am really in shock, is to have Gary Fiskerjohn, my editor from Knopf in New York, here. And people say there are no great editors in the world anymore. Well, I think he is one, and he's a total lunatic and obsessive. He's somebody who loves literature so much it's almost impossible to comprehend, and who labored over each sentence of my book to a degree that, well, if I was 30 years old, I really would have shot him. But I'm old and mature now, so I really did appreciate it. And that's really about it. And um, we'd all like you to come visit us in New York, please, because we need you. Okay, bye.